Hello, today I want to talk about some amazing principles, the principle of plodding along. I want to talk about the principle of turning your life over to the Lord and allowing Him to change your life and the beauty of being able to run after only being able to walk for so long. So 20 plus years ago, I was diagnosed with mental illness. And as a result of that, I was put on medicine. And as a result of that, and I put on 60 extra pounds that has held me back from exercise, for example, held me back from the energy and the drive to run and not be weary. And in recent months, I turned my life over to the Lord with my physique. And he taught me that I could change my physique if I wanted to. It wasn't a representation of medicine or not. It was a matter of making the decision and tapping into his power to make those adjustments. As a result of that, I turned down roughly 40 pounds in the past four months, and I am, I've gotten rid of the excess weight of my four-year-old and more from off of my back, or more particularly off of my belly. And as a result of that, I can actually run, not run the whole time, but run, walk, run, walk, rather than just walking all the time. In the past, when I've attempted to run, my knees start getting sore, I start pulling muscles, I start happening to see the physical therapist. If you can relate with that, hey, give me a thumbs up, that's totally cool. Whatever that your case may be, when you turn your life over to the Lord, He has the power to change you, and our bodies are so super resilient, they can actually change, and they can actually get better. If you go to my Instagram account, you'll see a photo shot of me, August of last year to August this year, and then I've turned down significantly. So what does plotting have to do with all of this? So from personal experience, last week I went for my first run walk with my wife who's been running regularly. She just did her first triathlon, super proud of her. And I decided I'm gonna run with her and see how long I could stand it. I went about four minutes and took the lead. I have a lot, I'm, I'm taller, I have a longer stride. And then I ran out of gas. I get a puff of my inhaler for my asthma and walk for about four minutes and then I ran I sprinted essentially sprinted again and for I, I don't recall four minutes again maybe two three minutes and I walked again for another three or four minutes and each time I walked my wife would pass me up go down the ground and then come back circle around me run circles around me literally and as I progressed and then towards the end I was like I'm gonna give it my all and I ran I ran I ran and it just felt so great. Uh, it felt great to be alive. It felt, you know, it felt invigorated. I felt real. I felt my knees were aching. Yeah, I was puffing for a bit, partially because of asthma, partially because I'm not used to running. And I turned what was usually my, I don't know, I'd say average 17 to 18 minute mile walk. I was able to trim down with the walk run to it. Instead of going about a mile and a half in 25 minutes or so, I went two miles in about 25 minutes, 12 minutes and 39 seconds with the walk run combo. So super excited about that. And thank you for letting me celebrate that victory with you. But I'm not celebrating it just to say, look at me. No, 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 not at all. What I'm trying to do is instill hope in those that have extra weightage hanging on them that have been complacent and stuck for years or for months, and they're trying to break through and to let you know that you can break through. And it all starts with the inner core of you and letting the divine nature that's within you to spring forth and to turn that your will and the strength and all this fleshy stuff to the Lord and let him change you from the inside out. And when you change your thoughts and change your actions according to those pure thoughts and align yourself with God's will, he gives you power, power to not only purify those thoughts, but to lift and elevate them to higher levels. And then he gives you the power to bring those things about.